Hello, it's Matty G. We're here for a brief map tour. Let's get into it. So here we are on Furling, Furline, Furline, Furlung, Furlong. Um, I'm guessing it's very much a German style map. It's not overly big as you can see. Beautiful lake area. Let's have a look on the map on the internal. As you can see, there is a. Well, it's it's tiny. If this is based on what I can only assume is a 2x board, it is tiny. Uh, yeah. Can't buy anything on the peripheral. Fields look all smallish from this view anyway. Uh, most of them are fairly affordable. It's, oh, it's, it is beautiful though. I mean, look at it. And this is the farm. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got almost a perfect curve on the fence there. That's not easy to do. Um, there's the sign. Uh, I'm not even going to try to. Oh, go on, I'll give it a go. Willkommen Affendum Bahuf Furling Corlight Ustahern, mate. <clears throat> I know you shouldn't say it, but I'm glad we never lost the war. I couldn't speak that language. It's very difficult for my tongue to produce. Um, dirty old dried up pond. Right by the entrance. I could do with some water. Maybe you could uh, get water in the winter. Um, yeah, details look good. Should we uh, should we go inside? Da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh no, it's not Jurassic Park. Never mind. Gives you a bit of a feel to it. So yeah, inside it's um. Right, it looks it looks quite quite good, doesn't it? Shall we have a look around? Well, this is the house, obviously. Sleep trigger, wardrobe. Um, there's a archway there to a main road that runs down. And you get a chicken pen straight off the top. So we are on new farmer mode for this map tour. Looks like a road that runs down the side of your farm and away. Ah, it does. It joins up to the front. But no gate here so any Tom Dick and Harry can come off the road and come into your farm it kind of beats the point of having the front gate I suppose but hey ho these are the storage you've got your bits and bobs in here you've got a couple of bits and bobs in there there should be more storage through here oh no hold up this is your drive through silo hold quite a bit that door opens that door opens looks like you've got a used Windrower, water tank, half lean to shed. So, you've already got chickens. Uh, I mean, this is now on the outside of the farm, which just seems a bit weird to have it this way. But here's what it is. We should put a mini map on, it might help a little bit. Uh, we've got a small little tractor here, a uh, little massy. Another little shed, if they've got anything in this one. A uh, little wagon in here. Bale wagon. I'll get to you in a minute. Let's, uh, let's open the big doors at the top. and bound to be stuff in here. So in here they've got... <laughs> some junk. And some implements. Bits and bobs in here as well. Uh, have they decorated upstairs on this one? A little. Um, you can play some chess. Drink. Is that a bottle of wine? Oh no, no, it's a. <laughs> uh, it's a tool for shaving wood. Uh, I haven't seen. If there's collectibles, I haven't seen any yet. Some more pieces of equipment. 
Styler, not a bad one. They've mashed that up well. Uh, this is the cows. Looks like there's even more around the other side. Have we got anything in cows shed? No. Some more. Oh, another shed there, another batter. I did not see this shed in the pack, but it looks nice. More details, little tiny bits. Looks like you got the standard top liner. It's just one big open barn, that one. This is your fermenting silo. It turns grass, hay, straw, and chaff into silage. Two bucks a day does quite well. And quite fast so this sweeps around to the other side of your cow barn that you get on the farm track runs up alongside 45 cows you can have there there is a horse pass you got a horse pen as well with a horse Do you know what we've not can we ride it there we go we've not done a tour on a horse before but it's not a big farm, so that's that's the farm itself. Seriously, you know we're near that tree. Grow up, stupid horse. We're gonna chuck a left, and we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up. Yeah, try and follow the road. Well, there's a bridge over here through to Treeland. There's a little. It looks quite a thick area of trees. The horse will stop every ten seconds and go. I can't go any further. But it is nice to do something different. Why not why not take a horse? So we'll have a brief look around. Uh, and then we'll have a look at what you actually get with the farm itself. Hello, I'm jumping. Alright, we're at the river now. What sort of one is it? I can't hear splishing. Oh, a little bit. You can't walk on the bottom, so that's actually... I like that when you can't. It means there is, there is actually water. And it, it also has sounds. So, the chances are you can fill up from water. From these rivers. Which is nice. Uh, we'll come up to our first little point here. Do not dive too deep in the water, I like it. <coughs> this is San Giovanni, the pizza shop. It's a little different until you get around here and you realise it's the same one from basically mine the river again. Urgh, get out of the river. Yeah, it's the same from Gase, Gase Bane. Oh, base game, there we go. My words, they're all over the shot today. Come on, horsey. Go up, up the road, turn a right, uh, and follow it round. I'm not going to visit them all, we're just going to do this little islandy type bit. You see, the road's nice, it's black, easy. They've got pathway there that pedestrians are walking on. I haven't seen a car yet, so maybe there's no traffic again. But we will check. Our settings in a moment. There we go. That looks like a grain mill. Some sort. Cooperative maybe. And if we keep going down the road. We get to a fair few cell points here. Uh, this is... Whoa! I see. I found cars. I found cars. I found the main road. Oh, easy. Easy. Did you see that? This is Furling Industry Gibi. Guessing that just means they're in their industrial zone. Either way, the horse, for some reason, don't want to go down here. So what do we have down here? We have carpentry. Uh, oils. Debris crusher. Sugar mill and 
Oh, it's still sugar meal. And whatever this one is. Oh, look of it. Possibly a cell wall. Wood, wood, cell wood. So, um, a bit like a sawmill, I guess. More wood to sell. Let's see if that miserable horse will move and move and now. Is it gone? No, I haven't got there yet. There it is, you stupid horse. Now we're going to go down this last bit towards the bottom. Jump. Wow, that was a good jump over the van. So there are, there are moving vehicles on this particular map. It just seems to be this one main road. But they don't seem to stop for you on this one. They just plow through you. So that's something different. There we go. Looks like we've got some cows there. And some sell points and some buy points. This could very much be an animal dealer. It could be. Don't quote me. We're not going to go through it bit by bit. We're just having a little look around and you know, have a little map tour rather than a full review. Uh, looks like there's some greenhouses here and sheep. I'm guessing these are all purchasable. Although there is something about it. Uh, you own that water. So maybe you own the animals as well. That is uh, more areas for you to own, I guess, at least. Uh, we're going to head for the lake now. I don't think there's anything in particular on the lake. but We will have a look. Some islands. Uh, killed the horse. <laughs> huh, I don't think I can get to the islands. It won't let me it won't let me get to the islands. I can get up this way. If I try to get over, it stops me dead. So the map is even smaller than you think. You cannot get over there. Or well, at least you can't get to the islands. It won't even let me cross the water here. It's too deep. Let me go. We'll head down this way. There is another island further south. And it won't let me go down further. Oh no, it does. It just won't let me near the water's edge. Which is a shame because you can see this detail over there. We want to see that detail. That's it. it. You know, that's it. It won't let me get down there. So that, that is a shame because, as you can, you can see from here, it's clear. You can see the shadows being cast on the water as well. There is houses and what looks like a, a whole little town or village over there, or holiday homes. Um, yeah, ma ma maybe this map is going to have multiple updates as it expands. Uh, for what it is, it is a beautiful little map, but it is little. I could, I could easily see this being used for a survival role-playing type of series. Um, you know, if you've come in as almost like a farm manager, taken over, do your little role-play, have some little... Uh, fun episodes with it um, and then sell up and move on it could definitely be one of those sort of things a stop gap if you, gap if you will uh, it's such a beautiful map it's 
and really done nicely. So I'm going to jump in and have a look at the map one more time. This is the map. This is your farm. Um, there does actually seem to be a big townish area up there. That may be worth actually going to have a look at. I don't think we own a car and we haven't found a shop yet. So we're going to take the Stiz Stizler. And we're going to head north. Last time we went left and we have crossed the river or crossed the little pond. This time we are going to find a track and go north. Try not to crash. Now this little dirt track is marked as a roadway on here. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily think that many people use it. There we go. As you can see the fenced off area there. That's uh, our field, I believe. Or part of our farm. Whereas obviously this lot isn't. I'm trying to see through the trees what that is. That may be the store somewhere here. Ah, back onto Tarmac Road. There we go. Tank Mal Undurun Craft. I'm guessing this is the town. You've got your little, uh, your Audi or your Nettos or your Costco or whatever you want to call your shop. You've got your gas station refueling you do have some nice little houses uh, yeah, if, you, if you role playing with more than one person you don't all have to live at the farmhouse some steep trigger down here one of the houses make it your own so an apartment block there needle and stitch so you've got that Beautiful little river there, lake there. Morgan's Bakery, that's a new one, I believe. I've not heard the name Morgan's before. Coming back, sweeping back round, nice little town this. Quite like this, really nice role playing. Uh, where am I? So right in front of me are some cell points. How do I get there? Maybe the ones I've already gone through. There we go. The shop. The shop also has a repair yard there. And at the back of the shop is the shop. Or the store. Yeah, see? That's neat. Um, it would be nice if they put an interactive shop down. But it's a nice way of hiding it all. Alright, we're going to run up and have a look at the lake to finish off. Details in the town is quite nice. Especially with the people walking through, fences. Yeah, it's, it's a nice little town. Laybys, I love laybys. What I want to see more of when people do British maps and they do country lanes, a bit like the main drag that's through Calmston, is I want to see like, pull-in laybys. Because, obviously, I drive for a living down those lanes every day of the week. Um... And you constantly have these dirt. I'm um, obviously they're created by vehicles pulling in all the time, but it's just this dirt and bumpy, lumpy uh, little pulling way for you to get past. Obviously, this is an actual parking spot, but yeah, it just reminded me of that. Nice walk, walk uh, area there. Uh, thing 22, 22 rather. Looks like a dam over there. Again, it's a shame that it's not bigger. Uh, there is something down here. I'm assuming we can get to this one. Hop, skip, jump. There we go. We can get to this one. Nice. Barbecue. Yeah, yeah. What's this one say? Oh, my God. God, I'm not gonna. That's gonna sound awful. 
Schlotz für einen Mannmund abkommen, bla da bla da bla da bla da bla da bla da bla. Um, yeah, if anyone wants to translate that into English, let me know. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, but there we go. Someone's sitting, sitting there playing chess. I'm guessing this is a holiday home. Can we call it a holiday home? Oh, that's nice. You can pick certain things up. Can you throw it in the water? I don't know, but you can fall over the fence somehow. <laughs> yeah, can you throw it and then you fall in the fence? How does that work? There we go. Oh, yep, yeah, that's gone. That's that's out of here. Boat. Can't take the boat. I'm guessing that's just fixed. Yeah, it's a fixed thing. That is as far as it let me go. It won't even let me. Ah. There's the jug. Pick the jug back up. See if we can throw that even further, shall we? Nope. That is it. That is as far as it can be gone. That's nice to know the limitations, but um, as you can see, it this this there's buildings in the background. And they've got their own shadows as well that cast on the water and there's a load down there. You just get a feeling that there's more to this map. Uh, but anyway, we're going to leave it there. Um, we're going to sit here, have a beer, play a bit of chess. Get the Barbie going. I mean, this is going to enjoy the nice weather on the lake. Till next time, this has been Matty G. Please like, subscribe, share hit the notifications if you're on twitch please follow and until next time peace out